So as you can see at the very top of each song in the player, you have this view. We split each song into parts. The parts are traditionally called intro, verse, chorus, bridge, instrumental parts. Each song obviously is different, but we are always using the same kind of wording. This is really to uh, segment a song into several parts. And what you can do with this is actually loop the sections that you select. So when everything is unselected on top, it will just play normally all across uh, the song. But let's say you want to uh, work that bridge, work out that bridge, you want to master it, the chords are difficult, um, this is um, uh, what you need to train for the moment, so you simply highlight that section here, I'm gonna advance a little bit so we don't hear it fully, but what it will do when this is highlighted, when it reaches the end of it, it will jump back to the start of that section. Another nifty feature related to that, you can also uh, decide to um, select several parts that you want to um, that you want to, to 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 loop. So let's say, for example, I want to do the bridge, and then I want to stray to jump straight to chorus number three, and then to the outro. Well, I just highlight all those different uh, sections here, and I let it play. When I reach the end of the first highlighted section, it will jump to the next highlighted one. Up, it just jumped to chorus 3. And it would jump to chorus 2. I can change this on the flight. I'm going to unselect outro. I'm going to wait for the end of chorus 3. And you will see it will loop back to the bridge here at the beginning. So this can also be uh, used to uh, delete some of the uh, a part of a song that you do not want to play. If you want, if the outro is too long, for example, you could select all the sections, but the outro, uh, so that you don't have to play that one. So this is a really nifty tool that we want to um, also improve. There might be some uh, different ways you want to use the loop. We've seen that in the Facebook group that you can join if you've not been yet uh, registered into it. We discuss there uh, a lot of different topics and especially what we should do next uh, with the app. So this was what we call the timeline section view with loops uh, capacity. But there is another type of uh, view here which you can access from the left button of the overlay. So if I click here on this button you will see that the timeline changes its shape uh, and it becomes a more traditional type of timeline that you can see on most media player nowadays, but there is one interesting feature into it too that most of you might not know. You can see here um, there is some green segments and some blue segments. So this song is actually a duet, and so we represented here when the lyrics are kicking in for each of the uh, lead vocals. So that, that's the time where the lead vocal audio signal is activated. So here you can see green starts and at the bottom here the lyrics are actually playing at the same time. If I move a bit further down the line we have a blue singer, a second singer here that kicks in right at that time. So this is also pretty useful for the singers to uh, get ready and see when your time is going to come and just have the right word at the right time to not miss the start. So these are again the two uh, ways of seeing the timeline. The first one, the sections with loops, and the second one, uh, the more traditional timeline with the audio signal for singers.